Natalie's Enchanted Journey. Natalie loved to visit the enchanted kitchen of her childhood. It was where she learned to cook with magic, using the freshest ingredients from the Alps and the secret recipes of her grandmother. She remembered how the pots and pans would dance in the air, how the spices would sing their flavors, and how the oven would always bake the perfect cake. But Natalie had grown up and moved to the big city years ago. She had a busy life, traveling around the world and having new adventures. She had also met Jacques, a charming chef who loved and married her. They lived in a cozy little home with a modest kitchen, where Jacques cooked delicious meals for her every day. Natalie was happy, but she still missed the enchanted kitchen. So when she had a chance to take a vacation, she decided to go back to visit her old mountain cottage home. She packed her suitcase and boarded a magic train that flew through the air, leaving behind a trail of rainbow smoke. She arrived outside the small village where she grew up and walked to the cottage where the enchanted kitchen was. She knocked on the door and was greeted by her old friend, Catherine Goblin Queen, who hugged her warmly and invited her in. Natalie felt a wave of nostalgia as she entered the kitchen. Everything was just as she remembered it. The wooden table, the copper pots, the colorful jars, and the sweet aroma of baking. She spent over a week with the Goblin Queen, cooking with magic and reminiscing about old times. She also explored the mountains and meadows, picking wildflowers and berries. She saw Axel from the kitchen, Mitch Moosh the Fairy King, and she had so much fun with the silly, loving pair of Anik and Bernard. She felt like a child again, full of wonder and joy. Oh, we can't forget, darling little Julie shared some magic of her own. But Natalie had to return to her life in the city. She said goodbye to her friend, the Goblin Queen, and thanked her for everything. She boarded the magic train again and waved bon voyage as it took off into the sky. She arrived home and opened the door. She smelled something delicious and followed it to the kitchen. There she saw Jacouille, who had prepared a warm meal for her. He hugged her and kissed her cheek, telling her how much he missed her. They sat down at the table and ate together, talking about their days. Natalie told him about her trip to the enchanted kitchen, and Jacouille listened with interest. He said he was glad she had fun, but he also said he had something to show her. He took her hand and led her to their kitchen. There, he opened a closet and revealed a surprise. He had turned it into a mini enchanted kitchen, complete with pots, pans, spices, and an oven. He said he wanted to make her happy by bringing some magic into their home. Natalie was speechless. She hugged him and thanked him for his thoughtful gift. Natalie realized that it didn't matter where she was, as long as she was with Jacouille. She loved him, and she was the enchantment in his life. The End